Alright guys, welcome back to the channel where today we're taking a look at some of the latest creations that you can download this week from Community Creations where we've got more updated superstars featuring new textures, we've got more classic versions of the current stars and then we've also got some new legends and a bunch of talent from WWE, AEW and New Japan. To kick things off, let's take a look at some newly updated superstars, starting out with a modern version of Rob Van Dam, as Petchy has released a modded version of Rob that uses his showcase model, but it's been updated with a new face texture and a custom hairstyle to give him an older appearance, creating a modern take on RVD. No one in this business gets as high as RVD with the five-star frog splash, which reminds me guys, it's 418, I'll be back in a few minutes. Whoa, where are you going? In terms of attires, Petchy's included two of Rob's signature singlets, with the first one being this green and black design that he wore for an appearance in Impact back in 2020, while the second attire sees him in this black and white singlet with a tiger design, which is one that he wore during his WWE run in 2014. Despite being a modded version of Rob, you can still set this as an alternate attire via the creation suite, where doing so will see it use Rob's ring name and commentary. Next up, we're taking things in the opposite direction, as rather than aging someone up, we're actually aging them down, as What's the Status has teamed up with WWE 2K Gears to bring us a younger version of Karrion Cross, with this one based on his appearance in NXT through 2021. Taking a look at his attires, the first one sees him in these black Time's Up trunks, while the second one sees him also in black, though this one has the flappy bits on the front. Unlike RVD, you don't need to set this one as an alternate attire, as Status has already done it, so once you download it, it'll automatically appear on the selection screen. The next star scene update is Indy Hartwell, as Miss Bella Orton has released an updated version of Indy, which is based on an appearance from earlier this year, with this one featuring a new face texture and a new hairstyle. To show off the difference, here's a comparison of how Indy looked originally in the base game compared with how she looks now with the new texture and alternate hair. Along with the main red outfit, also included is a second attire, with this one seeing her in this alternate green outfit. Next to be updated, we have the Radar Superstar Edge, as Game Vault has released a more accurate version of Edge based on 2006 and 2007. Now, the reason I say it's more accurate is that this version features Edge's original Rated R logos, which is something that isn't actually included on the official model, as it seems to be some sort of issue with the logos being copyrighted, and therefore the official one doesn't include the proper logos. As for the attires, the first one is this black and purple outfit that's taken from Judgment Day in 2007, while the second outfit sees Edge in a beanie with this short jacket, which is taken from an episode of Raw in April 2006. As these are just attire updates, once you download them, you can set them as an alternate attire, though they do use the Edge 06 model, so you will need to have unlocked that via the showcase before you can download it. Staying with Edge, if you want a younger Edge based on the Attitude Era, IKEA Carl has released his own custom version, with this one set around 2000 to 2002. While this one looks great in the entrance, the glasses actually hide just how good it truly is, as if I switch over the creation suite and compare this to the 2006 Edge, you can see here just how good it looks, as this is easily on par with some of the in-game models. This was as dominant a win as I've ever seen, guys. As always, Cole, you're more polite than I am, so I'll just say what we're all thinking. This was as one-sided as it gets. Up next, we have a classic 2004 version of AJ Styles, with this one coming as part of a new collaboration between What's the Status and Override 7994. Unlike the classic AJ that featured in the previous creations video, this one is a completely custom one, and because of that, this one looks a lot more accurate, as the build of AJ and the face morphing looks a lot thinner, whereas the other one was stuck with the current look. Despite being a creation, this one actually comes with AJ's ring name and commentary, as Stace was able to assign it before uploading it, and he's also managed to set this to appear as an alternate attire to Styles' official model, so once you download it, it'll automatically appear as an alternate attire. So that's some of this week's updated stars. Next, let's take a look at some completely new ones, starting out with some of the big names from AEW, the first of which is this awesome version of Orange Cassidy from Bangraman. One of the things I love about this creation is that he's actually given him his backpack, which I thought was a really nice touch. As for the second outfit, this one is pretty much the same as the first, though the ring attire is the same as the entrance attire, with the only difference being that the second one doesn't include the backpack. 
Also from AEW, we have the current world champion, MJF, as Kisaragi TV has released a current version of Max that sees him sporting this Burberry style better than new jacket with black and white trunks as the main attire. Switching over to the second outfit, this one sees him in these alternate blue and black trunks. Next up, we're heading over to New Japan as Defract has released this incredible version of Kenta, who a lot of people will probably recognize as Hideo Itami from his time in NXT. The look of focus and determination on his face. He wants to show the world that he can compete on this high level. Also from New Japan, we have the current IWGP United States Champion Will Ospreay as IKEA Carl has released this awesome creation which comes with two attires. The first one is this grey and green outfit while the second one sees him in these alternate black and white tights. Next up we have some new legends that you can add to the roster where we're starting out in ACW as Bad God has released this new version of the Sandman which is by far one of the best creations I've seen and when paired with a kendo stick entrance that sees him waving it around and this is pretty much as close to the official thing as you can actually get. This is a match he's craved for quite some time. He's ready and raring to go. Our next legend is former WWE Women's Champion Candice Michelle as creator Track Daddy has released a really good looking Candice that's based on a run between 2005 and 2006. In terms of attires, Candice's main outfit sees her in this black and white outfit while the second one sees her come out in a long black coat with that one then featuring this red and black outfit as the ring attire. Next up, we have a really good version of Chris Benoit from Dr. Gorilla Nuts, which comes as part of the Icons of the Ring series. Now, Benoit is always a controversial creation given what he did, but I didn't want to overlook this one as the creation itself looks absolutely awesome and I'm sure there's a bunch of people out there that would still use him. In terms of attires, the main yellow one is the outfit that he had for his last appearance in SmackDown vs Raw 2007, while the second attire sees him in black tights with blue claw marks. Jumping back to the present day, next up we have the return of Naomi by Detractor Hashtag 47902, though this version is actually a current version that's based on a run in Impact which is appearing under her real name of Trinity. Of the creations out there, this is definitely one of the best versions that there is and if you want to use her as Naomi rather than Trinity then you can actually get your hands on her WWE Tron to use as Naomi's Tron was one of a few Trons that were left over and hidden within the game files. To get Naomi's Tron, the easiest way is to download this creation from What's the Status, as this one already has the Tron set, then once you download it, you can head into Create an Entrance and copy the settings over at Trinity, which will then assign her the hidden Tron. Take a look at the talent in competition here. You can see exactly why the WWE Universe is so amped up for this one. So that's the latest roundup of creations in WWE 2K23. Let me know what you made of them in the comments and stay tuned to the channel for more. Until next time though, thank you so much for watching. Have yourself an awesome day and I'll catch you later.